What's up everybody? This is Lyle with No Hippie Barbecue and Cooking. And my other chimney starter went out a while back. I didn't bother getting a new one, so I've just been using charcoal. But anyway, I'm going to do a review on this uh, Weber 7416 charcoal uh, chimney. Anyway, I bought this uh, $15. Uh, I was going to go with one of the cheaper ones, so hopefully my 4 or $5 was uh, well worth uh, coming up to this price range. Anyway, one thing I did notice about this one that uh, you're not typically going to see is that the bottom of this is shaped like a cone, whereas the last one I had was just kind of a flat piece of metal with just holes in the bottom of it. So that's an improvement. And I didn't even notice that it had the... Uh, air vents on the side here which is another thing that uh, the cheaper model that I was going to get uh, didn't have. Um, another upgrade on this model as opposed to you know the cheaper brand I was going to get was this uh, plastic handle. The other handle was wood. This here I'm going to call this a hippie handle because I don't really see any purpose for this. I mean this was a waste of money and I guess they, they could have probably sold this to me for $1.50 less without this handle. I'm assuming that you're just supposed to pick it up and do like this. But uh, anyway, we're going to actually get uh, finish the review on this tomorrow when I get some, uh, when I have a smoke going on. We're actually going to go through how to use this in case you're a beginner and you're not uh, sure how to use uh, one of these charcoal chimneys. So we will pick this review how to up tomorrow and uh, I'll give you my honest assessment on it. See you tomorrow. All right, so what's up? We are back for this review and how to. And the first thing we're gonna do is stuff some newspaper in the bottom of this uh, chimney. You're better off using black and white newspaper, but this is all I had, so that's what we're rolling with. So we got that in there. charcoal in. I did leave a little space at the top. And then we got these little vents on the side where we are going to light the newspaper on fire. All right, so that is that. We're gonna let that bad boy go for about, uh, should only take about 15 minutes, we should be good to go. So we will be finishing up this review. So anyway, basically all you do, put the newspaper in, add the charcoal, light it under there. It's that simple. Uh, we'll see if this is any better than the cheaper models when we're done. See you back in a bit. All right, so we are back. It's been about 20 minutes since we got this uh, thing lit up and it looks like it's good to go if you want to kind of take a look in there and I think a little bit earlier I kind of got a little Roger Clemens on you guys I think I misspoke a little bit earlier what I was saying was when my other uh, chimney went out I was just using lighter fluid and I figure if lighter fluid is good enough for my iron mixing it's good enough for me too so I was using that but then I started realizing how much money I was spending on lighter fluid and I probably wasted more money on the lighter fluid than this so anyway this should be good to go the handle actually is pretty cool. I brought a glove just to be safe, but I'm not going to need that. So I'll throw that over there. And then uh, this little hippie handle, I really don't see a need for it. I guess if you wanted to, you could do it like this. But uh, we're not going to do that. We're just going to bring it over here. Dump that in. I dumped that on top of some uh, unlit charcoal in there. So anyway, that's how you use it. And uh, as far as my uh, review on this goes, I definitely think it's worth the extra $4 you could spend, or $5, excuse me. You could spend a little less getting the smaller Weber, which might be fine if you're just using like a kettle grill or something like that. Uh, for a smoker, I think you need something a little bit bigger. 
in terms of the cheaper models with just the flat metal bottom with the holes in it uh, without the holes on the side I think it's it takes so much longer for that to heat up and again they're a little bit smaller so uh, my rating on this five out of five stars I'm gonna give this the five stars uh, anyway if you're a beginner hope you uh, enjoyed the video on how to uh, use it and if you're thinking about buying a chimney starter hope my review helped see you on the next video